Good morning. So today is Sunday morning. I was going to get up and go to church with my mom. Uh, she was trying a new church and she said she went to it by herself one Sunday, but she wanted to try it again. So I told her, I said, mom, I'll go with you. I'll be happy to go try this new church with you. And I got up and I texted her and I waited and I waited and I waited. I called her, she didn't answer. And so I um, guess she's not going to church today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out to Plum Grove and um, Bennett and I were talking and he told me that the graveyard and Plum Grove uh, was kind of damaged with, by the hurricane. A lot of limbs fell. And uh, you know, our little baby Remington is buried out there. So I was going to um, head out there to Plum Grove, I think today, and see if I can pick up some limbs. And he said the cross at the grave was knocked over. So I'm gonna stand the cross back up and do whatever cleanup that I need to do out there. So if you guys wanna come with me and hang out with me today, I'm gonna to be going out to Plum Grove and then I'm gonna to go to family dinner when I get done. So I'm gonna go now before dinner so I can still have dinner with my family. So hang out with me, let's have a fun day together and let's get some stuff done. All right, so then tell me what happened in the graveyard. Like what did you see messed up? So I, I want this trampoline, I think it came from Lester's house, I don't know, but uh, a, a tram trampoline? Yes, the trampoline flew through the air. Lester had a trampoline? I think so, for the goats. Um, <laughs> okay. So the trampoline flew through the air. They didn't put bricks on their trampoline like we did. And made direct impact with Remington's grave. Oh, wow. And it knocked, it knocked the cross over, mm. the angel broke in half, and it really messed the thing up, so. The only people who came out unscathed were Peepat and Pops' grave, but... They were on the other side of Remington's grave. Well, they're behind Remington. <laughs> behind, yeah. Was there a tree block in there? Because Remington, I don't think there was a tree by his grave. There is, but um, it's like right there on the tree line. Yeah, but on this side, I didn't think there was any trees on that right hand side. I know, side. but I don't know, like, Peepat and Pops' grave didn't really get messed up. Did Nanny and Pops'? Um, that angel on that tree kind of broke in half. Mm -hmm. So when my dad's dad, we called him Pops. RJ's grave got messed up though. RJ, okay. The flag got torn down. So uh, my dad, his name was EJ, Emery Jerome Morrow. And he, he was the first to pass in our family. And we had a private family cemetery dedicated. Half of it was on RJ's property and half on my dad's property. So they both needed off this piece of property for a family cemetery. So my dad and RJ's dad, Pops, we called him, we called him Pops. They're all, they're all Pops. Pops is buried there along with uh, my grandmother, Nanny, my dad's mom and dad. Well, then um, the next to pass away would have been my mom's parents. And because they loved it in Plum Grove and they lived out there the last probably 15 years of their life, they lived out there. Um, 10. 10. So they lived <clears throat> it in Plum Grove though also. So my mom and her brothers both decided that they wanted to have Peepat and to my mom's mom and dad, we called them Peepat and Pops. Yeah, last week was the 10 year anniversary of Peepat's death. Oh, for Peepat. 10 years. I forgot uh, to tell you. I know some of y'all, y'all hear negative things about my Peepat from, I think Jake, maybe, I don't know, Lester, but I had a great relationship with my grandmother and I love her very much. So, um, I called her Mamaw. She was always my Mamaw until uh, Buddy was born and Buddy couldn't say Mamaw for some reason. And I don't know where Peepat came from, but that became Buddy's little well, grandma no, name. She, Peepat always wanted to be named Patricia. Yeah, she did want to, her name was Lottie May and she didn't like Lottie May. And she was working in a soda pop shop or something and some sailors came in and she lived in Beaumont and some sailors had come in and they said, uh, What's your name? And she hated her name, Lottie Mae. So she said, guess, guess my name. And they, and one of them said, you look like Patricia. So she took that name and she was only like 17. And for the rest of her life, she was Patricia Pat. And so uh, anyway, P Pat was her little nickname. And that's what the kids called her. But so P Pat and her husband Pops, my mom's mother and father are also buried there. And then uh, my son, our baby Remington is buried there. And then um, my Uncle Raleigh, who passed last year, is buried there. Two years ago. Two years ago. So, we're going to go out to the graveyard today, and we're going to look and see if uh, I can manage to fix that cross. And I don't know about the angel. Bennett says she's cracked. All I haven't been to Plum Grove since the hurricane, so Bennett says she's cracked all the way in half. So, I may 
I don't know about putting caulk and glue on her. I may just have to buy a new angel to go there. But the cross, Robert made the cross. I do want to get the cross stood back up. So let's go get that done. You're not going to help me? I, he said Look at the way I'm dressed. I'm not going to work in the heat today. I'm sorry. I told you to wait until tomorrow, but you don't want to. Well, you could wear other clothes and then change before dinner. What? You could wear not nice clothes and we could get it done in 30 minutes and then go to dinner. Then I'll have to redo my hair. <laughs> Just don't be confident. Wait till tomorrow. Just wait till tomorrow. Oh, that's my bin. All right, here we are. Oh, yeah, the angel. Oh, yeah, the angel. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a new angel. That ain't going back together. No. Ben has said just glue it back, but that ain't going to get glued back. No. Yeah. Put this. Just put it in the back of the truck. Yeah. So, this is our little, our little grave marker. You see it? Remington Eugene Martin. I, need to, I gotta rake all, rake all that off. It was pretty deep. I guess I should have brought the regular shovel. Well, I think a limb must have hit right on it. That's what made it fall. Look at that egg. What kind of egg is that? Is that a snake egg? I don't think so. He's down in that dirt in a hole. I'm sure it's an egg. Yes, the yolk came out. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Turtle egg, maybe? Robert, look at all I these eggs. It. What could have dug in down that deep? Look how deep that is. I don't even know. Look at this. Look. Yeah. I'm gonna show my camera. Okay. Look at these eggs. I don't know what kind of eggs they are. Y'all can tell us. Look at this. These are eggs. Eggs down in there. Way down, at least probably six inches under the ground. I don't Egg know. Eggs, turtle eggs. Look at it. Yeah. I don't know what that would be. They had to dig down deep to get bury them eggs. I'm like, is it a snake? That's scary to me. I don't know why it's scary. That's scary. But scary. Is that a burn pile over there? Can we move these limbs? I think so.
think church just let out over here at the church. Alright. Got that out. Mm -hmm. Is that heavy, huh? Oh my god. Hmm. We just need to clean off the tombstone and rake this back up and we'll be done here. Well, we got that in the ground and we picked up that pile of limbs. Clean this up. I wish I could get the dirt out of the holes, but. It's supposed to, so you can see the name. <laughs> the dirt helps see his name better. I see some people when they go to a to like a veteran vermoil, they'll get actually sand and rub it. Oh, so the name shines, shines through? through? Yeah. Yeah, and we just need to get, we'll get another little angel or something, a little boy and a girl playing or something to go to the foot. Yeah. I like the angel. We put that there. It's been there since we had the burial, so it's been there a long time. Well, I built this, me and Gus, I think. Yeah, it's a nice cross. It look, it's straight with the with the uh, headstone. It's our little guy. Our little guy. He would be uh. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Oh well. We'll see him again. Yeah. He's waiting for us. Up there with our other grandparents. Atticus and Ollie. And our dogs. Yes, Atticus and Ollie's with them. That's my uh, Pete Pat and Pops. And this at the end over here is my uh, Nanny and Pops. And then, of course, my Uncle RJ. That's all that's here so far. Robert and I will be buried right here in this little empty spot right next to Remington. To the right of Remington? Yeah, to the right, right here in this little spot. I'll be forever. Next to. I'll be forever right here with my baby boy. What? <laughs> <laughs> but forever and forever, I'll be in heaven with him. Yes. My body will just be there, nothing else. And I know my baby's in heaven too, so I don't think he's in that ground right there. I know he's in heaven. Smiling and playing. Smiling and playing, huh? Running around with our dogs, Atticus and Ollie, and hopefully Bella. There you go. What is it? Flat? I don't know. No. Limbs, dirt. Cotton, something. I'm a mess. All right. Let's go uh, visit with Gigi and Pops and get ready for lunch. Yeah. Dad, my love. Hey, baby. I have a question for you. Baby. I'm all honest. What is it? Whatever you want. To I remember when I was younger, you were writing a book. And now somebody asked you about that book recently and you said you didn't remember. I, oh my I, Lord. I remember a book, the book. It was book. a leather yeah. buying book and you were book. writing a book. Yeah. Where's that book at? Uh, maybe we've had floods and we've had fires. That book is double. You think it got in the fire? Yeah. I thought it was after the fire. No. Well, that's very sad. Yeah, it is. Because I would have had that book published. It wasn't that kind of a book. He was writing it about all his history and his family. Yes, that's what it was. No, that's what I'm saying. You can have any book published. It doesn't, people don't have to buy it, but you can have them published. Well, he does have that. I don't have that. You don't have that book anymore? No, I don't have that book. Maybe I don't want to have it. Yeah. I mean, no, you're good. I guess you should know what you have. Well, because Dad doesn't do, generally forget things. No, I don't forget stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't forget nothing either. I don't, I don't either, Rob. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like... Once it goes in, it's in there. Oh, she, G's mouth almost fell to the ground. I like a computer. It don't ever go away. A vault. Once it goes in, it's a hard drive. Well, you need drive. to start writing it again because you need to have that written down. I know you. I'm going to head. buy you, or you can type it if you'd rather type. You had a lot of chapters, and one chapter was about me, and you called me your little raging Cajun. 
It's gone from your mind? It's not gone from your mind, Dad. Dad, if you had another leather bound, you couldn't start writing again? Oh, that's sad. I'm just trying to do a family history and I can't even get it done. There's too much going on, you know? There is a challenge that we're going to try to attempt. It's a challenge going around where you have to run with your arm and your leg at the, the same direction. You can't run like normal. Okay, Robert, show us how you normally run, like a little jog. See, your legs and arms are opposites. Good job, Robert. Now, this challenge, you have to run with your same arm forward that your leg is forward. I don't know you do it. But you gotta run, Daniel. You can't walk it. Come on, come on, do it across here. Uh, you're still opposite. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I Robert, go. I'm gonna pee all over my face. No, I'm not. <laughs> all right, Jill. Come on, Jill. That Jill tried. Come on, Jill. <laughs> she did better than all of us so far. Though. <laughs> that was really hard. Did I do it for a little bit? Steph, what are you doing? That's not running, though. Why are your fingers pointing? Why is that running? Oh, my gosh. Come on, Bray. Oh, Bray, go. It. 
aerodynamics. No, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Gonna do I think I'll pee my pants. Pee 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 all right, here we go. Here we go. Here, Dan. Like a fool and not try it. All righty, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's something about your feet coming in front of you when you try to keep your hands together. It's I know, weird. I have a challenge. Your spouse, your girlfriend, goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh -uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I haven't seen that one. This is a crazy group of people, you guys. A crazy group of people. Bye, Mom and Dad. I love y'all. Bye. Okay, you guys. We're headed home now. I hope you enjoyed our day with us here in Plum Grove. We had some good time. Well, not a good time, but we needed to clean the graveyard, and then I had a good time with my family. It's always a fun time with the family. Buddy's so, birthday. Buddy's birthday, yes. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. I'm Tina. And I'm Rob. And we're, and we're living, living off the, the hill. hill. Bye. Bye.